Hello, my name is Tan Hughes. My topic for my project is fashion industry pollution. It's about how the fashion industry has such a huge impact or plays a huge role in world pollution. I chose this topic because I'm not a big STEM student, but I wanted to incorporate my interest and potential career field into my project. So, of course, the oil industry is number one. But, shocking fact, the fashion industry is a close second when it comes to the world's highest polluting industries. Specifically, the biggest cause for this is something called fast fashion. Fast fashion is trendy clothing that mimic catwalk looks, but cheaper. However, the fact that it's cheaper isn't the issue. The issue is the way brands dispose of the clothing or products when the trends change because we all know trends change so frequently throughout the year. Which brings me to my next section, which is pollution. So clothing and products are made with toxic dyes and chemicals. Some of those toxic substances are lead, mercury, and arsenic. I want to address fashion and specifically water pollution. In most countries in which garments are produced, untreated toxic wastewaters from textile factories are dumped directly into the rivers and mainstreams. <clears throat> Those substances that I mentioned are in wastewater. This raises the risk of exposure to heavy metals for both people and animals in surrounding areas. On the disposed side, um, clothes get either burned or sent to a landfill. As shown here in figure one is the picture of clothes here that is getting burned. So, yeah. You might be asking, though, what role does biotechnology play in all of this? And let me just tell you that biotechnology is being used to produce so many ways to make the fashion industry less polluting right now as I speak. Some examples are working with AM silk spider silk fibers. I want to try to say that right. Yes. And growing clothes from fungi. But the example I found to be the most interesting was dyeing clothes with bacteria. When I first researched it, I thought that was so disgusting and gross and that could potentially harm humans. But the bacteria dye process uses no toxic chemicals, little water, low temperatures, and since the pigments used are 100% natural and free of chemicals, they don't cause any harm to humans or animals. Ultimately, the goal is to lower the pollution rate. Some of the ways we can do that are by buying less, reducing how much we wash clothes, and by buying from sustainable brands. Here are some of my resources that I use. These are just some of them. I definitely use a lot more in my paper. And... I'd like to acknowledge and give a big thank you to Hadar Sane for motivating me to complete my project as well as being a great support system. And then I would also like to thank Dr. Schuster for his patience and help. He provided great assistance. So yeah, thank you for listening and I look forward to answering any questions that you just might have. So yeah.